all are doing well and you are staying safe so today's video is definitely an interesting one and i'm so so excited for today's video because it is one of the most requested videos on my channel yes it's all about mac lipstick dupes finally i have sorted out and find the dupes of my favorite mac lipsticks which i'm gonna share with you so i have got my favorite 22 mac lipsticks with me and i'm gonna share some affordable lipstick options so which are the dupes of those MAC lipsticks so with you. The dupes which I have selected are not a super duper affordable lipsticks. Those are belonging to mostly in a mid range category but I can assure you that you can definitely grab it during the sale time at a much much discounted price. So you can surely have those lippies and also I have selected them on the basis of shades not in terms of formulation because when it comes to MAC lipstick shades guys MAC has unique shades. Yes, I had a really really hard time selecting the shade but I have tried my best and tried to find out very similar shades like the MAC ones which I have in my collection. The dupes are not 100% similar but like very close to the actual MAC shade. I'm gonna swatch all of these lippies that is 22 MAC lipsticks side by side 22 affordable dupes of those mac lipsticks which i know you are definitely gonna enjoy but before that make sure that you remain subscribed to my channel by clicking on that rate subscribe button and click on that small little notification bell next to the rate subscribe button so that you may get notification every single time i put a new video so without any more blabbering let's get started so coming to the first MAC lipstick is a MAC matte lipstick in the shade of taupe and the affordable dupe that I am sharing with you is this one by L'Oreal Paris. This is the L'Oreal Paris color rich matte lipstick in the shade Maple Mocha. Now both looks quite quite similar to each other. So MAC taupe is a beautiful medium brown color which has got hints of pink having beautiful warm undertone which makes it suitable for all Indian skin tones. L'Oreal Paris color rich matte lipstick in the shade Maple Mocha is also a beautiful medium brown color having hints of pink also having beautiful warm brown undertone the only difference between the two is that maple mocha is having a little more pink than the shade taupe but when swatched side by side when applied on the lips both looks quite quite similar to each other both of these lipstick are having a similar kind of formulation like creamy beautiful smooth texture gives you satin matte finish very very comfortable to wear not completely transfer proof but very very comfortable non-drying lipsticks so that you can definitely wear with your intense smoky eyes with your bold eye looks or on an everyday basis for your office or college you can definitely try out either of these two you don't need both of these in your collection so the next matte lipstick is a mac matte lipstick in the shade wall which is one of my most used mac lipsticks an affordable option that you can definitely check out is this one by plume this is the plume plush matte lipstick in the shade high tea both looks very very similar to each other when you apply it on the lips guys so mac wall is a complete neutral brown nude color if you belong to a very fair skin tone category wall will look even more cool tone on your lips high tea from plume is also a complete neutral brown nude color the only difference between the two is that plumes uh, high tea is having just a tinge of pink in it which makes it look more wearable but when you apply it on the lips guys both looks very very similar max world is a matte lipstick but it is having that creamy formulation gives you like a soft matte creamy matte finish on the lips whereas a high tea from plume is a straight up matte lipstick in bullet form very nice creamy formulation but gives you beautiful like a straight up clean matte finish on the lips with both of these lipsticks you can wear it on an everyday basis with your everyday kind of eye looks or with your bold eye looks both will be looking amazing guys i am in love with both of these lippies i think if you have the shade wall you don't need the shade high tea if you have the shade high tea you don't need the shade word so coming to the next lipstick is none other than max diva this is a mac matte lipstick in the shade diva one of my favorite shades and i think everyone should have this particular shade in your collection now the exact dupe of max diva is none other than this one by lacme this is the lacme absolute matte revolution lipstick in the shade dynamite baby both looks completely identical to each other guys so mac diva is a beautiful deep wine color which has got hints of berry as well having neutral undertone whereas dynamite berry from lacme is also a complete deepest wine color which has got hints of berry having that neutral undertone both looks completely completely similar to each other gonna rock on all indian skin tone now coming to the formulation max matte lipstick diva 
is a beautiful smooth creamy matte lipstick going to give you a creamy matte finish but I am in love with the formulation of the Lakme Matte Revolution lipstick because this is so so smooth so so buttery gives you like a very fine blurry effect on your lips gives you very soft matte finish but looks so rich and luxurious on the lips Lakme Absolute Matte Revolution lipstick is having a better formulation than MAC Sediva if you want me to choose between the two, go for Dynamite Berry and you're not going to regret buying. Both of these going to look amazing with your bold black winged eyeliner or with your uh, very everyday kind of neutral eye looks. Just with your mascara on guys, if you wear either of these two with your black sari, with your black outfit, people will follow you. Yes, people will follow you. These are gorgeous, gorgeous shades. So coming to the next one is one of my favorite nudes from MAC. This is the MAC's Powder Kiss Lipstick in the shade Breakthrough, which I am having on my lips right now. You will always find this lipstick in my bag because I love peachy nudes on me. An affordable dupe option that you can definitely check out uh, is this one from Maybelline, which looks very, very similar to the shade Breakthrough. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational Creamy Matte Lipstick in the shade Midtown Pink. Breakthrough is a beautiful warm peachy nude color which has got brown in it having that warm undertone whereas the midtown pink is also a beautiful warm peachy nude color having lots of brown in it having rich warm brown undertone the only difference between the two is that midtown pink looks a little more darker than the shade breakthrough and mainly because of the finish and the formulation the formulation of breakthrough is a beautiful creamy texture but it gives you like a powdery matte finish on the lips matte finish without any glossiness or creaminess going on whereas with the shade midtown pink is a beautiful creamy matte lipstick gives you like a shiny creamy matte finish so it's mainly because of the formulation this looks a little bit different from each other but are very very similar shades guys which will be working for a lot of skin tones out there mainly on fair to medium to bitter skin tones on very deep dark skin tone category you can you make this work with your brown lip liner but surely you can use this lip colors on an everyday basis for your office college or with your warm tone eye looks like peachy tone eyes brown matte eyes uh, bronze eyes copper eyes i think both of these shades will look amazing on you so i really like it if you have the shade breakthrough i think you don't have to buy the shade midtown pink so coming to the next one is my all-time favorite my old favorite lipstick and this is max retro matte lipstick in the shade all fired up this is the lipstick which i have worn on my wearing day this is something i would recommend you guys to try out the exact dupe of max all fired up which looks like exactly like the same on the lips guys is this one by faces canada this is the faces canada lip crayon in the shade pink pout both of these are beautiful looking pinks on the lips warm deep pink having that beautiful hints of red as well having warm undertone which makes it suitable for all indian skin tones such pretty pinks guys which you love and I think gonna rock really well on everyone out there. You can wear it with your bold black winged eyeliner, with your neutral eye looks, with your champagne eyes all fired up as well as the shade pink pout both will look gorgeous now coming to the formulation all fired up is a complete 100 percent matte bullet lipstick yes when applied on the lips it will glide on your lips beautifully but it will give you like a hundred percent clean matte finish whereas uh, with the shade pink pout from faces canada this one is also having creamy formulation but it settles down to a beautiful like a soft rich matte on the lips with that creaminess which you can actually feel and see if you have any one of these you are sorted because both look so beautiful on the lips so coming to the next mac lipstick which is perhaps my favorite mac lipstick guys out of all the mac lippies that i have in my collection this is something which i have repurchased multiple times and it is something which i use the most this one is from her satin range this is the mac satin lipstick in the shade retro now i have got two affordable dupes more like less expensive dupes that i have in my collection which looks completely similar to the shade retro and those are also my favorites so the first one is this one by kiro beauty this is the kiro beauty lush moist lipstick in the shade ginger tea which looks very very similar to the shade retro from mac so retro is a beautiful like a deep dust rose color which has got that early tones as well having that rich warm brown undertone which makes it suitable for all skin tones out there guys on deeper skin tones retro will rock on you ginger tea is 
also the similar kind of shade beautiful deep dusty rose color having that warm rich brown undertone gonna rock really well on all indian skin tones now retro is a satin matte lipstick what's gonna give you like a smooth satin creamy matte finish on the lips whereas uh ginger tea from akira beauty is a very beautiful smooth creamy matte lipstick but settles down to a beautiful like a soft matte lipstick on the lips clean soft matte lipstick which looks so beautiful guys and and akira beauty's ginger tea is something which you can use on an everyday basis and it's gonna rock beautifully on you guys i know the kiro one is a little bit on the expensive side but you can get it during sale time guys at flat 30 to 35 percent off and uh, during that time you can save a lot of money another tube option that i'm sharing with you is none other than k beauty's matte drama lipstick in the shade wrap up wrap up looks exactly similar to the shade retro guys yes it is a beautiful like a warm dusty rose color having that hints of pink with that warm brown undertones when it comes to K-Beauty's Mad Drama lipsticks I love the formulation because of the richness of the product of the luxury of the product it glides on your lips like butter settles down to a soft matte lipstick which looks luxe on the lips yes so if you have any one of these like the Kiro Beauty's Lush Moist Lipstick in the shade Ginger Tea or K-Beauty's Mad Drama Lipstick in the shade Wrap Up or Retro guys if you have any one of these you are sorted you don't need all these three in your life you can only have one and you are sorted so coming to the next one is something which i had the hardest time finding the dupe of guys because this shade is completely unique it is the mac powder this lipstick in the shade kinda sota which looks something like this now i have the dupe of this one which is not in an affordable range but i can assure you you will be getting the dupe at flat 50 percent off on nika during her sale time so that's the best time to grab this a product this one is a by the balm this is the balm meat matte hues lipstick in the shade charming both looks very very similar to each other when applied on the lips now kinda soda is a beautiful deep mauve nude color which has got hints of pink having neutral undertone but it is not like your regular mauve nude lipstick guys it is having that perfect balance of warmth and coolness in it which makes it so unique charming is also a very very similar mauve nude color which has got that perfect balance of pinks and mauves in it having that neutral undertone which will be working really well on all indian skin tones the formulation of the uh, shade a kind of soda is a powder case of formulation that means it's gonna give you like a smooth powdery matte finish on the lips whereas uh, in the case of meat matte use lipstick from balm this is a liquid lipstick so it will dry down to 100 percent matte finish without drying out your lips guys you can wear it with any of your neutral tone eye looks so with your mauve tone eyes plummy tone eyes intense smoky eyes guys you can try out gorgeous colors unique shade from mac and this is the closest dupe option which i have found in my collection so coming to the next one is one of my favorite reds apart from ruby U from mac is this one from mac matte lipstick in the shade russian red what a gorgeous red guys i think mainly because of the formulation i love this one more than ruby U because it's a beautiful creamy matte lipstick now the exact dupe of russian red that i have in my collection is also from faces canada this is the faces all time pro lip crayon in the shade red fantasy both looks identical to each other so russian red is a beautiful true deep red color which has got just a tinge of blue in it but it is having neutral undertone guys you will not find it to be a complete blue breast red it looks so rich so beautiful looking on the lips red fantasy is also a complete neutral toned red color very very similar to russian red looks so rich so beautiful on the lips russian red is a matte lipstick but it is actually a creamy matte lipstick going to give you creamy matte finish whereas uh, with the case of lip crayon from faces canada in the shade red fantasy it is a very rich smooth buttery creamy lipstick gives you a very nice like a soft satin matte finish on the lips looks so luxe so rich on the lips guys both of these shades gonna rock on all indian skin tones if you don't want to buy ruby U, mainly because of the formulation of ruby U, which is a little bit drying on the lips if you don't want to invest in ruby U, try out the shade russian red from mac guys and you're not gonna look back you can try out either of these or two you can wear it with your bold black winged eyeliner with your neutral eye looks guys this too will look gorgeous guys you can have either one of these 
and you will thank me so coming to the next lipstick is also from the matte lipstick range of mac it is the mac matte lipstick in the shade ring the alarm and this is from a rethink pink collection it is a very unique red guys that i have in my collection now i have a dupe which is not super duper affordable but during sale time you can grab it at discounted prices so this one is by morphe it is the morphe mega matte lipstick in the shade morphe both of these look identical to each other guys so ring the alarm as i have mentioned is a beautiful muted red color which has got muted pink warm undertone so it is completely unique guys it looks bold when you look at it as a lipstick but once you apply it on the lips it looks really really wearable gonna look gorgeous on all indian skin tones morphe from morphe's makeup matte lipstick is also very very wearable muted red color but it does not seem to be like a super bold red on the lips having that warm muted pink undertone which looks so so wearable now coming to the formulation the ring the alarm is a creamy matte lipstick going to give you creamy matte finish whereas mega matte lipstick from morphe in the shade morphe is a beautiful smooth creamy matte lipstick but it's gonna give you like a clean matte finish on the lips when it comes to my how you can wear it you can wear both of these with your neutral eyes or with your soft brown eyes or just with your bold black winged eyeliner guys you can wear either of these two you have if you have the shade to ring the alarm you don't have to get the shade morphe if you have the shade Morphe, you don't have to get the shade uh, Ring the Alarm. So another popular lipstick from MAC is a MAC Satin Lipstick in the shade Mocha. Now the affordable dupe option that I have in my collection is this one from Nykaa. This is the Nykaa Matlicious Lip Crayon in the shade Lacy Luck. Now Mocha is a medium brown nude which has got strong hints of medium peaches having warm undertone. But it looks light when applied on the lips. That's why it is suitable for fair to medium to beauty skin tones. Only if you belong to dusky tan skin tone category or brown deep brown skin tones it will look washed out on you lacy luck is also a beautiful medium brown nude color which has got hints of peach having that warm undertone but when you all swatch it side by side you will find the shade mocha to be a little more pinkier than the shade uh, lacy luck but when applied on the lips, uh, lips uh, both of these looks very very similar to each other so mocha is a satin matte lipstick it gives you like a creamy matte finish like a satin shiny creamy matte finish on the lips whereas when it comes to lacy luck this is also a very buttery smooth lip crayon applies smoothly on the lips but gives you like a soft a clean matte finish on the lips you can wear both of these with your intense smoky eyes or with your warm tone eye looks on an everyday basis also you can definitely wear it you don't need both of these in your collection so another the popular shade is max retro matte lipstick in the shade flat out fabulous and the exact dupe that i have in my collection is this one by sugar cosmetics this is the sugar matte as hell lip crayon in the shade mary poppins both looks identical to each other so flat out fabulous is a beautiful true deep fuchsia pink color which has got hints of plum having strong blue undertones which looks really cool pink on the lips mary poppins is exactly the similar fuchsia pink color and having that hint of plum having blue undertones so when applied on the lips guys both look similar to each other flat out fabulous is a complete retro matte lipstick that means it's a hundred percent matte lipstick in bullet form when applied on the lips it's not gonna add any shine on your lips it looks like a clean matte lipstick on your lips whereas a flat out fabulous is going to be buttery creamy on the lips so you can wear these lip colors with your neutral eyes it's preferable to wear it with your strong bold black winged eyeliner with lots of mascara on guys you can wear any one of these and these will be working really well on all indian skin tones so flat out fabulous is my absolute favorite pink from mac guys and i'm so happy that i'm able to share you an exact affordable option a dupe of this one so coming to the next one is max retro matte liquid lipstick in the shade topped with brandy which is another popular lip liquid lipstick from mac and i have got two lipstick options to share with you which looks very very similar to topped with brandy now the first one is something which i really really love when it comes to the shade but the formulation of this one especially this particular shade is not that great but i really love the formulation of the other shades of this particular range this one is by plum this is the plum matte in heaven liquid lipstick in the shade grape expectations which looks quite quite similar to the shade topped with brandy now topped with brandy is a complete cool toned and mauveish deep mauve color which has got hints of gray as well having that neutral brown undertone whereas grape expectations from plum 
is also a cool tone mauve shade deep mauve color having that gray hints having neutral brown undertone these look very very similar to each other when applied on the lips both of these are liquid lipsticks going to give you 100% matte finish on the lips now when it comes to topped with brandy this can be a little bit drying on the lips mainly because of the liquid lipstick formulation so you have to exfoliate your lips and then apply your lip balm remove the excess layer of lip balm and then apply the lip color and it will be sitting really well on your lips very very long wearing lip color when it comes to plum matte in heaven liquid lipstick in the shade grip expectation the thing which i have found with this particular shade only that you will find a layer of pink on the inner rim of your lips which makes it look a little ugly only with this particular shade guys i have found this problem but the shade looks completely similar to mac topped with brandy so if you don't bother about that ream of pink layer on the inner part of your lips you can definitely try this one out but i have tried out all other shades from this particular range of plum which are beautiful having beautiful formulation non-drying liquid lipstick i am recommending you another one which looks very similar to topped with brandy but it's just one shade lighter than topped with brandy this one is from lakme this is the lakme wetless matte mousse lip and cheek color in the shade coffee light now this is also a cool tone mauve color having that hints of gray having neutral undertone when applied on the lips you will find that topped with brandy once it dries down to 100% matte finish looks really dark deep mauve on the lips but when it comes to a coffee light when dried down on your lips it's gonna look just a little bit lighter than the shade topped with brandy other than that the formulation of the lakme one is even better and more comfortable than retro matte liquid lipstick range of mac but you can have either one of these guys all of these shades are amazing guys and you can wear it with your very neutral eye looks like grayish eye look or plummy tone eye look something really cool cool tone on the eyes uh, so coming to the next one is my all-time favorite shade from mac this is the mac retro matte liquid lip color in the shade dance with me and i have the exact identical dupe of this one which is from chambor this is the chambor extreme wear transfer proof liquid lipstick in number 406 called nocturne beautiful beautiful shades gonna look gorgeous on all indian skin tones guys so dance with me is a beautiful like a deepest primary red color which has got lots of pinks in it having that deep rich berry undertone looks like a true berry shade on your lips when applied on the lips whereas an 406 nocturne from chambor is exactly the same thing that beautiful deep berry color which looks so gorgeous on the lips looks completely similar to each other now dance with me from mac is a liquid lipstick it's gonna give you 100% matte finish but can be a little bit drying on the lips whereas with the Chambord Extreme Wear Liquid Matte Lipstick. It is also a liquid lipstick but this is not at all drying on the lips. It will give you 100% matte finish. The only problem with the Chambord one is that it takes around 2-3 to three minutes to dry down completely on your lips but once it settles down on your lips it's gonna be so so comfortable on the lips guys so you can try out either of these two. You don't have to get both of these. Both will look gorgeous on all indian skin tones if you belong to the deepest skin tone category guys this will be looking so rich so royal on you you can wear it just with your winged eyeliner you're gonna rock it guys a perfect festive lip color love it to bits and i am so happy that i have found the exact dupe of dance with me from mac so coming to the next one is from the powder kiss liquid lipstick range from mac this is the mac powder kiss liquid lip color in the shade devoted to chili and i have got a very affordable lip option which looks completely similar to devoted to chili which was which is this one from maybelline this is the maybelline a sensational liquid matte lipstick in the shade made easy devoted to chili is a beautiful like a rusty orange nude color which has got strong rich warm brown undertone made easy from maybelline is also a beautiful rusty orange nude color which has got strong brown undertone now the difference is only with the formulation uh, powder kiss liquid lipstick in the shade devoted to chili from mac is actually a moussey liquid lipstick will be giving you like a moussey powdery matte finish not gonna settle down completely into a matte finish whereas with the maybelline uh, sensational liquid lipstick made easy is actually a liquid lipstick so it's gonna apply it in a creamy way on your lips will settle down to a hundred percent liquid lipstick without drying out your lips both are very very comfortable and uh, made easy is so so affordable guys i think it is pressure to be 349 only so you can make out this one is so damn expensive both will be working really well on all 
all indian skin tones if you wear it with your warm tone eye looks like peachy glittery eyes like matte brown eyes champagne eyes copper eyes both will look gorgeous gorgeous on you guys so coming to the next lipstick is not that popular one but i absolutely love it it is from the amplified cream lipstick range of mac it is from a rethink pink collection this one is in the shade just curious the affordable tube which looks very very similar to just curious is this one by essence this is the essence of velvet matte lipstick in number 10 called greedy coffee both looks very very similar to each other just curious is a beautiful deep peachy nude color which has got hints of coral having that hints of pink as well having really nice warm brown undertone whereas greedy coffee from essence is also a complete deep peachy nude color but it is having a little more pink than the shade uh, called just curious other than that it looks very, very similar to each other both will be looking gorgeous on all indian skin tones it's a perfect summery lip color which you can pair with your summer outfits with your white outfits with your printed white floral dress it will look gorgeous the formulation of the amplified cream lipstick range is one of my favorites guys it is just like having that beautiful pigmented balmy texture gives you like a super duper shiny balmy kind of creamy matte finish on the lips which is so so comfortable velvet matte lipstick from essence is a beautiful rich creamy matte lipstick will give you like a soft matte finish on the lips but it looks so rich so pigmented on the lips guys so coming to the next one is the most loved the universally flattering red from mac which is none other than mac retro matte lipstick in the shade ruby woo i have searched a lot to find out the exact dupe of mac ruby woo which ultimately i have found is this one from blue heaven this is the blue heaven powder matte lipstick in the shade ruby glow both looks similar to each other ruby oo is a complete true red color which is having complete neutral undertone ruby glow from blue heaven is also a true red color which is having neutral undertone what i love the most about these two are that both are having the similar formulation as well so retro matte lipstick in the shade ruby oo from mac is a complete matte lipstick you will find a little bit of streakiness while applying the product is mainly because of the intense matte texture of the product similar with the shade ruby glow from blue heaven similar complete 100% matte lipstick in bullet form will give you clean matte finish in the end and will look gorgeous on every skin tone out there ruby U and ruby glow both will look gorgeous on fair medium british tan dusky deep skin tone category everyone can wear it and everyone can drop this particular shade if you are searching for that perfect red try out any one of these guys and you're not gonna regret buying you can wear uh, these lippies uh, with any of your eye looks guys a red lipstick can be used can be worn with any of your eye looks so if you have any one of these you are sorted you don't need to have both of these in your collection so another popular lip color is max satin lipstick in the shade twig and the affordable uh, dupe that i have found from my collection is this one from maybelline this is the maybelline creamy matte lipstick in the shade touch of spice now i have searched a lot guys to find out the shade uh, which looks very similar to twig apart from the shade touch of spice no other shades match uh, the shade twig so it's a really difficult for me but uh, to twig or uh, touch of spice is something which looks quite quite similar to twig so twig is a beautiful medium dusty pinky nude color which has got mauve undertone touch of spice is also very very similar to the shade twig it is also a medium a pinky nude color which has got mauve undertone but the only difference is that if you observe it closely we'll find that touch of spice is having a little bit of browns in it which is missing in the shade twig so that's the only difference but when applied on the lips looks quite quite similar to each other both can be worn on on indian skin tones and can be worn on with your everyday kind of eye looks with your neutral eyes with your rose gold eyes with your mauve tone eye looks guys the formulation of uh, max twig is a creamy matte lipstick going to give you a satin matte finish on the lips but touch of spice is much more richer and more creamier than uh, max twig it is having like a rich 
matte formulation gives you soft rich a creamy matte finish on the lips but looks beautiful on the lips guys so you can definitely try out either of these two another gorgeous shade from mac is mac matte lipstick in the shade d for danger and i have found an exact dupe which is from the house of makeup this is the house of makeup good on you hydra matte lipstick in the shade brew berry both looks identical to each other guys d for danger is the deepest berry color which has got strong rich wine undertone looks so gorgeous on all indian skin tones brew berry from a house of makeup is also the deepest berry color which has got really nice rich wine undertone the only difference when you observe it closely you will find that brew berry is having just a tinge of more pink and berry tones than the shade uh, d for danger but when applied on the lips looks completely similar to each other both will be working for all indian skin tones the formulation of a mac matte lipstick uh, d for danger is a creamy matte lipstick going to give you creamy matte finish on the lips so house of makeup uh, brew berry is also a creamy matte lipstick going to give you like a shiny creamy finish on the lips you can wear both of these with your neutral eyes with your bold black winged eyeliner look the perfect festive lip color perfect for the brides out there perfect for the newlyweds out there it will look so gorgeous guys if you have any one of these you are sorted you don't have to get both of these in your collection another beautiful peachy shade from mac is a mac powder kiss lipstick in the shade stay curious which is also another gorgeous color it looks very similar to the shade breakthrough but it is having more pinks in it the exact dupe of the shade stay curious uh, that i have found in my collection is this one from plum this is the plum matte terrific lipstick in the shade plush hour both looks identical when applied on the lips so stay curious is a complete peachy pink nude color which has got brown undertone as well the shade plush hour from a plum is also a complete peachy pink color which has got beautiful warm brown undertone as well both will look gorgeous on all indian skin tones especially with your warm tone eye looks with your matte brown eyes with something really peachy glittery on the eyes you can wear this lip colors the formulation of both of these is quite similar to each other powder kiss lipstick of mac is having that powdery matte finish very pigmented lipstick very very comfortable on the lips gives you that lightweight feeling on the lips similar with the case in the shade plush r it is also a beautiful powdery matte lipstick very very comfortable on the lips so both of these are just like identical lipstick guys you can have either of these two you are sorted right, so coming to the next one is the liquid lipstick version of mac rubio which is a ruby few from mac it is also from her retro matte liquid lipstick range i have the closest dupe with me which is from bellora cosmetics so this is in the shade ruby crush both looks quite quite similar to each other so ruby few is a complete neutral a red color but it is a liquid lipstick so it's gonna look more brighter on your lips compared to the bullet lipstick form of rubio uh, ruby crush from bellora is also a complete neutral toned red it looks a little warm when you apply it on the lips but once it settles down it's gonna give you that perfect balance of warmth and coolness in it and both looks very very identical to each other both are liquid lipsticks going to give you 100% matte finish transfer proof liquid lipstick not gonna transfer mask proof completely long wearing liquid lipsticks i would say retro matte liquid lipstick uh in the shade ruby few is a little bit more drying than the bellora liquid lipstick because bellora's uh, leave no evidence liquid lipsticks are having very comfortable very very long wearing lightweight liquid lipstick formula and you can wear both of these uh, with your bold eye looks as well as with your neutral eye looks and will be working for all skin tones out there another favorite of mine is from the powder kiss lipstick range of mac and this one is in the shade dubonne buzz it is a beautiful rusty orangish uh, brown shade but it looks so wearable on the lips and i have got the exact dupe of a dubonne buzz which is from verified so this is the verified butter to matte long wear lipstick in the shade boop so boop and dubonne buzz looks very very similar to each other guys dubonne buzz is going to give you like a powdery matte finish on the lips but a boop from verified is a beautiful creamy lipstick but it will settle down to a matte finish without trying out your lips very very comfortable to wear both will look gorgeous on all indian skin tones you can wear it with your rusty orangish eyes you can wear it with your matte brown eyes something really warm on the eyes guys i think if you have any one of these you don't need both of these in your collection you are 
pretty much assorted so both will look gorgeous on all so i have kept the most affordable dupe to show you in the last and it is a for max a powder case a liquid lip color in the shade more the merrier so if you have tried out the shade max mehrer and you don't like it you can try out more the merrier because this one is the deeper version of mac mehrer it is a powder case liquid lipstick so it is having that mousy liquid lipstick formula the most affordable dupe which looks identical to the shade more the merrier from mac is this one by l18 this is the l18 color pops mac lipstick in the shade mauve dead both looks identical to each other guys when applied on the lips so more the merrier as i have mentioned is a beautiful like a mauvey pinkish nude color but it has got deeper mauves in it and the pinks are also on the deeper side so it's meant it makes it suitable for all indian skin tones the same case with with the shade mauve date it is a beautiful mauvey nude color it is having that hints of pink as well having that brown undertone if you observe it closely you will find that mauve date is having just a tinge of more brown than more the merrier but if you want to get a similar kind of shade like more the merrier you can try out the shade mauve date from l18 the formulation of more the merrier is a powder case liquid lipstick formulation very moussey creamy texture when applied on the lips it's going to give you like a powdery very feathery fluffy matte finish on the lips not completely transfer proof but very very comfortable to wear whereas color pops matte lipstick range of uh, l18 is actually a creamy matte lipstick but it's very pigmented so comfortable and you can reapply it and it's the most affordable lipstick that i have in my collection guys so you can make out both will be working for all indian skin tones you can wear these lip colors with your plummy tone eye looks with your mauvey tone eyes purple eyes even with your intense smoky eyes guys it, it will work on an everyday basis you can try out these lip colors so if you have any one of these if you want to invest in a similar shade like mac more the merrier you can try out more of it from l18 and you're gonna thank me so that's all guys so these are some really amazing alternatives slash dupes of some amazing mac lipsticks that i have in my collection some of these are belonging to completely affordable range some are in the mid range category it's completely up to you to choose according to your liking whether you want to go for the mac lipstick or the less expensive ones than the mac ones so it's completely up to you i have tried out all of these so i know uh, the difference that's why i have shared at the same time i have done a lot of research guys i have invested in a lot of lipsticks you guys know i do have a quite huge lipstick collection and out of them i have selected all of these uh, which looks similar to the mac lipsticks that i have in my collection i'm going to put the links of all of these lip colors down in the description box if you want you can surely check that out i hope that this video has helped you a lot if you want to invest in more affordable lip colors this will be i think one of the most helpful videos for you if you're watching me for the first time make, make sure that you subscribe to my channel by clicking on that red subscribe button it's completely free if you want me to grow you can share this video with your friends and family on whatsapp twitter facebook instagram or any other social platform platform you want just make sure that you subscribe if you love this kind of contents you have to remain subscribed to my channel guys so that every time i put a new video you will get notifications so i hope that this video has helped you and you like it if you did do not forget to hit on the like button and subscribe to my channel for getting more of these videos we'll see you soon in my next video guys until then take care of yourself stay safe stay healthy bye guys